Hey everybody, welcome back again. It's Wayback Sports Cards. We've got another box break today. This time it is 1993 Tops Series 1. There's the pack right there. I bought this on eBay from somebody who had this box for years. Um, got this box for about $50 shipped, which is actually a really good deal. Um, these generally go anywhere from 60 to $100 on eBay. So if you could find it for 50 um, jump all over it. So we're going to open up 36 packs of these. The key card here is the Derek Jeter rookie card. Every pack's going to have a gold card, and there's one insert. It is Topps Black Gold. So we're going to try to run through these pretty quick because there's 36 packs, and we're looking for the Jeter. So let's get going. Kenny Lofton in there. Robin Yount. And I'm just going to quickly show you the back of the cards here is the Robin Yount card, number one in the set. Color picture on the back as well with all the stats. Um, actually pretty clean. If you find somebody earlier with a few fewer years in their career, they usually provide a little blurb there at the bottom. So... Uh, pretty clean, nice looking set. I opened a ton of these as a kid. Um, the packages on this are a little loose. Uh, probably is loose, loosened up over the years. Randy Velarde gold. One gold in each pack. There's a McGuire. Forgetti, Mel Hall. An Eck card there. So, um... I'm not going to pull aside the stars. I'll go through those later on. Freddie Benavides gold. Greg Maddox, Hall of Famer. Kirby Puckett with the uh, cartoonishly large Louisville Slugger. Great shot there. Andy Van Slyke. And a Jack Morris there. Jack Morris, famous for the 10-inning uh, World Series game back in 91 with the Twins. Recent Hall of Famer as well. Luis Alisea is the gold card here. Oh, there's the first draft pick card. It's Todd Steverson. Roger Clemens. Sean Lowe draft pick. So, uh, no Jeter yet. Long way to go. Again, you can tell the packaging on this is a little loose, but at the edges it's still tight. So uh, I think it's just that the packaging has loosened up over the years, because otherwise these cards look like they're in pristine shape there. Kevin Mitchell looks like he's catching a foul ball there. Winfield, Hall of Famer. Dwayne Ward is the gold card there. Frank Thomas, nice. Frank Thomas, I love that spring training shot. The three bats, awesome looking card. Tom Hinkley there, the last card. Great closer there for a long time with the Rangers and the Blue Jays. Andres Galarraga, Doug Jones again. Robbie Thompson is the gold here. Paul O'Neill, uh, I thought he got traded to the Yankees uh, in the offseason there after 92. So this may have been the, right before this, right before the trade. Barry Bonds, nice Barry Bonds card there. I'm going to turn that one over for a second. Card number two in the set. Only 984 hits at that point in his career and also 176 homers. So interesting uh, to see that, where he was at that point in his career. Mike. Mike Butcher. The gold cards are a little hard to see because the text is raised, but it's hard to see what the name is on it. Another Kenny Lofton. Larry Walker, Hall of Famer. Gary Carter, Hall of Famer. A couple of Hall of Famers there to finish out our pack. Looking for that Jeter rookie card. That is, like I said, the key card here in the set. John Cruck. There's the Ken Griffey Jr. That's a nice 
follow through on the uh, classic Griffey Jr. swing. Love that. Gold card is Tino Martinez here with the Mariners. Cecil Fielder. I think he led the league in RBI. Yeah, three times in a row there. Three, 1990, 91, and 92. Led the league in RBI three years running. That's uh, He was stud back in these days. Kevin Apier. Oh, Chad McConnell, which we've seen already. So uh, no luck yet on the Jeter. But again, I'm, I was saying these are very similar to the 92 in that they got the white on the front and the back. Uh, very clean, except that the photos on the back of the card this time around. Andre Dawson, nice, nice card of a Hall of Famer there. Uh, Chuck McElroy is the gold card here. Dan Serafini. Tom Glavin, Steve Finley. Funny story about him. I met him at the 1998 World Series. He was with the Padres at the time, signing programs. Signed my World Series program. So, very cool. Steve Finley. Had a great career, too. Over 300 home runs. Joe Carter, Rick Greens, and Kenny Rogers. So, uh... Oral Hershiser starts us off. Omar Vizquel with the Mariners. And that high brim, or high hat there. Ron Gant, Todd Stottlemyre. Dennis Cook is the gold card here. If we could find ourselves a, a Jeter gold, that would probably be the card to get in this box. But if we'll settle for a, a base Jeter in here. Devon White gold card. Won a couple of World Series there with the Blue Jays. Chuck Knobloch, former Rookie of the Year. Wade Boggs, there we go, Hall of Famer. I think he joined the Yankees in 93 for the first season as well, so he probably appears in the Series 2 or a traded set. But there's Wade Boggs. So uh, not much luck yet on these, but... Uh, Still have a long way to go. Danny Tartable. Remember him being a key pickup for the Yankees in the nine, early 90s, 90s era. Another Andre Dawson. Jeff Innes, the sidewinder there. Uh, JT Bruitt is the gold card here. Hall of Famer, Paul Molitor. There we go with the Brewers. Doug Drabeck, former Cy Young Award winner there with the Pirates. Man, the, the hairstyle on some of these. Some of these guys got some classic mullets, Drabeck being one of them. And there's another one, Darren Dalton. I believe he was MVP. Uh, if not in 92, maybe 93. Pete Harnish, great shot there. Carlos Baerga, a Yankee killer back in the day. The gold card is... Brady Anderson, pretty good gold card there. Chad Matola, who was a big deal at the time, and there we go. There's my guy, Don Mattingly. He has the uh, long ways card on this one. Put this one over. I probably won't stand up. That's all right. Let's put my Don Mattingly over there. I always like to. Uh, Keep my matting lease. Uh, Mitch Williams, Wild Thing, Willie Wilson, Eric Karros, former Rookie of the Year, Ryan Sandberg, Hall of Famer, John Olerud, 1993 AL batting champion there. So going into his batting champion year with the champion Blue Jays, Mike Sosha. Jason Kendall rookie card. Not a good, not a bad rookie card. He's probably the second or third best rookie card here in this set. So that's a good one. Jason Kendall. And Fred McGriff, the crime dog. So Jason Kendall is uh, not a bad card there. Edgar Martinez, Hall of Famer. Mo Vaughn, the hit dog. 
Barry Larkin, Hall of Famer. Jeff Grotewood is the gold card here. So we're not having a couple of good gold cards. Nothing, uh, no major stars. Jack McDowell, former Cy Young Award winner. Black Jack. Raphael Palmero. And Juan Gonzalez. So a bunch of uh, really, good, really good players in there. Maybe not Hall of Famers, but uh, the Hall of Very Good, we'll call it. Here we go. Next pack, Chuck McElroy, Denny Nagel, Mickey Morandini, Alex Fernandez Gold. Kind of an ace there with the White Sox for a few years. Him and uh, Blackjack kind of had a good rotation there for a few years. Never quite won anything. There's Jeff Bagwell, early career Jeff Bagwell card. That kind of came out of his breakout season there in 92. Frank Viola, David Justice, gold card of uh, Luis Rivera. John Burkett, Harold Baines, recent Hall of Famer. Robin Yount, and a Geronimo Pena. As I fumble my card there. Almost halfway through the box, still looking for our first Jeter. Hopefully we find at least one. Dave Stibe, classic mullet. Lance Johnson. Eric Hansen is the gold card here. John Wetland. Sid Bream, classic mustache, another Devon White, another Robin Yount. So now we're kind of getting to the point in the box where we're starting to see some repeats. And hopefully we find the right <laughs> repeat on a Jeter would be fantastic here. Hard-hitting Mark Whitten. Mike Stanton is the gold card here, here with the Braves. Probably more famous for his time with the Yankees in the late 90s. Mike Langston, Mike Greenwell. Lou Whitaker, nice career there, Lou Whitaker. <clears throat> so far, probably not the most exciting break. The 92 tops break we had a few weeks ago was a little bit more exciting, I think, at least so far. Tony Gwynn, Hall of Famer Tony Gwynn. Oh, Edgar Martinez gold card, that's a... Uh, I'm going to block out Donnie Baseball there with the Edgar Martinez gold card. It's probably the second best card we've found to this point. So far, not much not much luck finding what we're looking for. Uh, it's about 398 cards in Series 1, I believe. So uh, there's Ryan Sandberg, John Cruck, another Griffey Jr., Lee Guterman is the gold card. Ron Darling there with the A's. Greg Vaughn, feared home run hitter there for quite a few years there in the 90s. Tim McIntosh, another Willie Wilson. Karos, the gold card looks like Joe Hesketh. Chris Sabo with the Rex Specs in that picture. And Mark Wohlers finishing out that, that pack. The Braves closer there for many years. Mike Maddox, Mickey Tettleton, Marquise Grissom, big time leadoff hitter, Willie Randolph gold card, nice. There with the Mets, years before he ended up managing them. Omar Vizcal, Oral Hershiser. So, uh, some good cards. We're also looking for a black gold card, one out of every 72 packs. So we might, you know, get one of those one every two boxes. Perhaps we'll find one here. The gold card is Craig Colbert. Another McGriff, Dan Serafini draft pick. 
Glavin, Steve Finley, Joe Carter. Rick Green is another draft pick card in here. So uh, we're finding a bunch of draft pick cards, but not the one that we all came for. Uh, John Smoltz, and these are a little dinged up in the corner here. It might be how I'm opening the packs. I should be more careful. There's Larry Walker, Gary Carter. Actually, these are all kind of dinged up in the corner. Uh, Raphael Belliard, Wally Joyner, Cal Ripken Jr. Nice card there. Yvonne Rodriguez. And there it is. It's a Jeter, and unfortunately, it has come in a pack that's a little dinged up. Unfortunately. Oh, man. That's kind of a bummer. But nonetheless, there's the card we're all here for. Derek Jeter, also at the top corner, a little, a little dinged up as well. But we got the card we came for. Jamie Navarro and BJ Wallace. We've still got about a dozen packs left, so there's a chance we could land another Jeter. Maybe one that's in a little bit better shape. Gold card is Mike Stanley with the Yankees. Sammy Sosa, early career Sosa with the Cubs before he kind of broke out into super mega stardom. Still kind of excited and bummed about the uh, the Jeter card there. Just a little, a little too damaged there for my liking. Bernie Williams, and there's the gold card. Tops gold, black gold, I should say. Ozzy Smith. Nice. A Wizard of Oz. Ozzy Smith. That's a cool black gold card right there. I'm going to put him in front of Jason Kendall for now. Another Sosa. I gotta tell you, back in the day, I opened a ton of 1993 tops. These were about a dollar a pack, and I used to get these all the time, so I had a ton of these. I think I even had a couple of Jeter cards, not knowing who he was for a couple of years later. I don't think I necessarily kept it in the best shape. Gold card, Omar Vizquel. Not a bad gold card there. Frank Tanana. Long career there for Frank Tanana. I think 93, he was pretty much winding down at that point. But uh, you know, to make things easier moving forward here, I'm just going to take all these remaining packs out of the box. Pat Borders. Jim Laritz, Hall of Famer. Roberto Alomar. Gold card of John Wetland. Rick Green is a draft pick. Maybe we got another draft pick in here. Usually these draft picks come in twos. Hojo, Howard Johnson, and Preston Wilson is the rookie here. He had a decent career there. Look at that. Love, love the old Easton metal bat, too, in the background on that card. Cool stuff. Kevin Seitzer, Ron Karkavice. Alejandro Pena is the gold card here. And Gary Sheffield. Ooh, looks like he's uh, eyeing down a home run shot right there. Gary Sheffield, great career as well. 500 home runs. Club. Reggie Sanders, Gary Gaetti, Chad McConnell draft pick. We may have one more draft pick in this card. Let's or in this pack. Let's see. Pat Howell, Ari Varsh, and it's a Jason Kendall, another Jason Kendall rookie. Although his 
chin looks a little a little messed up on that. Actually, that might just be the card. So uh, that's the second Jason Kendall rookie card with about uh, five more packs to go here. Tony Quinn. Preston Wilson rookie card, which makes me think and hope that there's another rookie card lurking. Kevin Apier, Rob Ducey, and Craig Wilson. So there was not another rookie card. Hoping there would be two in the pack. That seemed to be how they were collating these, but uh, let's see. We're getting down here, nitty gritty. Terry Steinbach, gold card. Okay, not too much to write home about in that pack. Down to the final three. John Vanderwall, Rick Sutcliffe, Kevin Mitchell, Winfield. Winfield fell out of my hand there. Kevin Seitzer. Gold, Mike Perez, another Paul O'Neill, Super Nandez, Carlton Fisk, Hall of Famer. Nice card there. And uh, two more to go. Todd Hunley. Gold card is Tim Nairing. Steve Sachs and Roger McDowell. And last pack. Hopefully we can find a Jeter. If not, we're gonna have to settle for the uh, kind of dinged up Jeter that we got here. Which I'm not too thrilled about. All the other packs seem to be in pretty good shape, too, which is disappointing. Gene Larkin. Ron Gant is the last gold card. Tim Salmon, I believe 93 Rookie of the Year. Bip Roberts. Reed. Mark Langston. Mike Greenwell. Lou Whitaker. Willie Banks and Carney Lansford. So that does it for this box. We got the card that we were all kind of looking for, which is the Jeter rookie card. But as you can see right there in the corner, it is dinged up. Came out of the pack that way. Probably not. Well, it's definitely not a Jim Mint 10, that's for sure. Uh, but here's the back of the Jeter card for those who are interested. The best gold card that we got in the box was the uh, Edgar Martinez, Topps Gold. We did get two Jason Kendall rookie cards, not bad. And we found one Topps Black Gold of Ozzy Smith, the Wizard of Oz. So overall, a little disappointing, but we got the Jeter that we were looking for. And with that, we thank you for watching. Again, we're Way Back Sports Cards, and we'll have another box break in the coming weeks. Have a great day. Comment, subscribe, let us know what you think. Uh, love to hear from you. We'll uh, catch up with you soon with our next box break. Until then, Wayback Sports Cards signing off. Have a good one.